Yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it Like me, whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 whoa Yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it Like me, whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? So yesterday we trained with the first ever Men's Physique Mr. Olympia, Mark Anthony. Um, he is actually sort of on his little road to redemption to competing again. He's going to do a classic physique debut and I believe November of 2021. Uh, he contacted me shortly after uh, we I did nationals and I turned pro. He's actually commentating the show and he reached out to me and asked if he could come train with me and uh, Mike. Dr. Mike Isretel, and we ended up integrating a bunch of techniques <laughs> and uh, and uh, sparing a lot of his injuries for him. So he was telling me about his injury history and what, how we had to work around it. So it's been really cool to uh, be hands on with Mark and, and see what works and what doesn't. We've reduced a lot of axial loading. Um, we slowed down a lot of his eccentrics, four into motion, good pauses. So we went through a full push session with Mark. It'd be cool to, you know, see see what he can do with his legs maybe later on in this little road to redemption thing. But uh, this is all just really leading up to Mark's Classic Physique Pro debut. And uh, he was kind enough to uh, get on film with us. So tune in, enjoy the rest of the video. And Mike is going to uh, talk about the exercise selection, what he's doing, RAR, everything like that as we go through the uh, video. Hey folks, Dr. Mike here. I'm the hyper sexy spotter in the back watching Mark's technique. First exercise here is Smith Machine Bench. Why Smith Machine? No particular reason, just a cool variation. We're trying to get Mark to focus on lifting his chest up towards the bar at the bottom and pressing all the way through the range of motion. Notice his eccentric is very controlled and he's gently pausing every single time. No magic here. It's just a safe way to train. It's effective. It allows you to count reps. It allows you to approach the right repetitions in reserve keep track of everything and add a little bit of weight or reps every single workout. He is two reps in reserve here, allegedly. I don't know if we get it right, but we're trying our best. So next exercise is the high incline dumbbell press to put a great deal of emphasis on the upper pecs, not so much or barely at all on the lower pecs, Ton on the front delts, of course, and plenty on the triceps. Great overall pushing movements. You guys can see me trying to get into the frame to seem relevant, because I have actually no idea what's going on. Turns out one of the better ways to do this exercise is to make sure you get nice and wide to really open up your chest. You are trying to expose your upper chest to stimulus, which means a big stretch and a big contraction at the top. Notice slow on the eccentric, doesn't matter exactly where you touch down, not a ton. Do what's comfy, but also what makes you feel like you're working your upper chest a lot, which can be very different from lifting as much weight as possible for as many reps. Get the feel right, the technique right, and then worry about weight and reps afterwards to where I are here. Let's see how Mark does. He's really not interested in Jared pushing him along. I think we all know that Mark always has a few more reps in the tank. There's some stranger approaches us probably to try to get free stuff. Strange t-shirt is wearing and that's it. Next up, higher rep range. I think the rep range for this was like something around 20 reps. You can tell it's not a ton of weight. This is like a, a chest press machine. We've been using another one at another gym. We uh, chose, rather we're convinced to come to this Fit Club Las Vegas to do this. It was definitely an interesting place, interesting lighting. I definitely didn't have the fakest ass in there. And I was like uh, one of the fewest followed people. It's an influencer gym. In any case, nice place. You can see Mark is trying to get a big, big stretch at the bottom, holding at the bottom just a tiny bit to really push that stretch in. Ideally, as flexibility allows, you want to try to descend below the level of your chest for that extra deep stretch. 
Yes, it is a somewhat closer grip. That doesn't necessarily mean the triceps are working a ton more, and it doesn't mean the chest is working less. Sometimes on machines like this, a closer grip gets you such a big stretch at the bottom that the chest ends up still working a ton. And notice, this is a push workout, not necessarily just chest, so we do want some tricep involvement. Mark did a really good job. He really pushed it on that one. It's a lot of times very tough to figure out what your RIR is if you don't have reps to match from a similar machine, which is one of the reasons why I recommend using the shame the same machine week to week to week. But if you're at a different gym, try your honest to God best. All right, bicep curls on the machine. We're doing mile reps. So we have a total of 20 reps to hit, but it's probably something like his G12 or 13 RM on the actual machine. So we did like 10, then we did like four, then we did like four, so on and so forth, taking, oh, five to 10 second breaks between these little mini sets, that's what my reps are. Really tough to do, takes a lot of focus, and you can tell from his face, something's going on. Very good training strategy to now and again, even consistently, as long as you progress properly. Always, 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 as you approach failure multiple times, make sure your technique is good. We never count reps towards the total, in which we're sacrificing our technique. You would think that on a machine bicep curl, you could cheat the technique, or you couldn't cheat the technique rather, because it's fixed in. Oh, you sure as hell can. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. Notice the general aura of the gym is still a pleasant pink, and I uh, have the skin tone of a newborn piglet. Machine lateral raises. Mom did them, grandma did them, and Mark Anthony is absolutely doing them super successfully all the way to the top. You can go to any degree, but probably breaking that parallel is a good idea. Otherwise, you're probably just half roming it. And then notice he's squeezing the eccentric all the way down. A lot of people get to the top of a lateral raise and they think, yay, success. And they just let whatever weight they're using, dumbbells, whatever machine fall down, control on the way up, and then control slow on the way down for maximum gains. If you're not masturbating with a high enough volume, intensity, or frequency, you may want to do this exercise that Mark is doing here to beef up your forearms so when people look at you in the street, they go, now there's a guy that jacks off a lot. Also, notice off to the side of the screen how big my calves are getting, holy crap. Anyway, back to the exercise, Mark is doing a good job. These can be real easy to cheat. Notice he's rolling all the way down to his fingers at the end, all the way up for a big curl and quick pause at the top. This is not about impressing anyone. If you don't feel this big pump, big contraction, you're totally wasting your time. He is a former Olympian and he's using the 35s. So your bitch ass, well, you could be stronger than him, I don't know. But in most cases, 35s, 40s, 50s, those are heavy, heavy dumbbells for this movement. Only do what makes sense, only do what you can get a good stimulus out of. And ideally, you have someone over the top of you, too lazy to stand, leaning over a bench that looks kind of like an M1 Abrams tank and a Triceratops had sex. Also, you're, good God, there's a lot of pink in the background. And is Mark wearing pink or red? We'll never know, because the coloring in this gym is like an 80s disco. Anyway, folks, that's the last exercise, and Mark is suffering painfully, but it's all for the purpose of, again, getting the world's biggest form so people think that you're a masturbation addict. Peace!